What is up guys? Steven here with Catch, Grow, Cook and today we're going to go over how to start seeds directly in hydrogen or expanded clay pellets or whatever other grower medium you use. Um, now I know a lot of hydroponic growers or a lot of people that start seeds tend to use starter plugs or growing trays um, with heating pads and you know all these other things that just kind of add to the complexity of getting started. And for a beginner like myself, I just wanted to jump straight into it. So I figured the easiest thing to do would be just to throw some seeds in hydrogen. Um, lo and behold, fast forward, you know, three months later, I'm actually now starting to grow cilantro using a mason jar in my windowsill here, which I'll post a video about later. Um, but I actually just dropped, I don't know if you can see it, these seeds straight into water. Um, there's no starter plugs. I never transplanted these guys. So it just makes it a lot easier to get started growing your own uh, produce, your own vegetables, your own plants, whatever it is. So yeah, let's go over the past clips of me starting lettuce so you can actually see how you properly put seeds in hydrogen. Um, and that way they can just start directly in, you know, the net pot or whatever it is that you're using so they can just grow into their home without having to be transplanted. Or I put the seeds right there and there on this uh and straight into oh i missed one right there that one's probably not going to make it but um you can see i just dropped some of these lettuce seeds straight into the hydroton and uh we'll see if some of these seedlings start or some of these seeds start turning into seedlings um which would be awesome here is day one of starting seedlings from seeds I didn't realize this Amazon light is going to be like a blue-red, like a purple. But you can see here, well it's a little hard to see with this light, that we got seeds visible over here. There's one right on the edge right there. Um, and then we rolled our seeds in the cotton ball like a little taco, so we'll see if that starts sprouting. But give these guys a few more days but this is just what it looks like. And It's day 10 and so these guys that were planted straight in the hydrogen are obviously doing very good. It uh, looks like there's six of them and I planted 10 seeds. Well I did drop one in the water so six out of nine is really good. It's two-thirds, 66% success rate. So to recap what you just saw with starting seeds in hydrogen or other growing medium, you just need a net cup, your growing medium, in this case hydrogen, and then just water. Seeds only need water to germinate, and then once they turn to seedlings, you can then provide them with uh, nutrients with your you know, nutrient solution or the soil. But in order to get your seeds to germinate, just make sure that the water is touching at least the bottom of the growing medium. That way, at least with hydrogen, it'll soak up some of the water and create a nice uh, moist or damp environment for these seeds to sprout and germinate. So starting seeds in hydrogen, it's simple as dropping them straight in. Um, I use lettuce seeds, which arguably are the tiniest and hardest seeds um, because it could just fall through and sink versus say cilantro. Um, so keep that in mind if your seeds are super tiny. Um, you saw that success rate was about two thirds. Um, I haven't counted the cilantro yet, but I would just eyeball it at probably like 80 or 90% germination rate. So um, bigger seeds look like they're doing a lot better um, 
germinating straight in hydrogen. So yeah, give it a go and let me know what you think and comment down below on how it works if you have any issues. And yeah, hopefully this works out on your next grow.